I want to, uh, besides the introduction, I want to explain what kind of human that you are for the listeners. And this was something that happened just today. I logged on to Facebook and I saw a message in one of the carnivore communities that said, how do I convince my family to be carnivore? And I look at it and I rolled my eyes and I thought to myself, like, you don't convince anybody to do anything. You can be an example. I didn't respond to that post, but I looked down and see that you had and you responded, inspire them. And that to me is like the perfect epitome of who you are and what you do. Um, I just, I just really wanted to point that out. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. You know, I've been so busy lately. I don't spend a lot of time on Facebook. It's so funny that you happened upon that post. Uh, but yeah, that's what my life has become now is inspiring other people uh, to, to undergo a proper human diet. It's changed my life profoundly and I've seen it change so many lives out there. It's really become my, my mission in life. Man. Well, I was fortunate enough to be at the Hack Your Health conference in Austin where you previewed some of the movie. I wasn't exactly a preview, but you showed some of the content. Um, it was a breakout session, so you weren't on the main stage. You packed, you and Adam packed that room full of people, standing room only. There were many terrors shed during the, the, the preview and everything that you saw. It was quite funny and very well um, edited, but it was also very, very touching to see some of these stories. What has it meant to you to take on this kind of a project and see the response? Uh, it's meant the world to me. It's incredible. I feel like I'm kind of in a movie or a dream. I really don't understand what's going on, <laughs> frankly. I, uh, I've i been doing a proper human diet myself for a little over 500 days. Hasn't been that long. So I, I guess a little over 500 days ago, I was just, I was really horribly depressed and kind of a shadow of the person I am now. Uh, and to, yeah, to see, to see the reaction and to see people healing, uh, means the absolute world to me. It's incredible. It, it it never gets old. And uh, it's like starting to snowball. You know, one of the reasons I found a proper human diet was through Dr. Barry. And it was on a video he did. And it had nothing to do with any of my health issues. It was about type 2 diabetes. And there was comment after comment on that video about Dr. Barry, you saved my life. You inspired me. You reversed my A1C. 10 minutes of watching your videos changed my life forever. And that was so inspiring to me and so powerful to me. And now I'm seeing a little touch of that, a little, I can't imagine what Dr. Barry gets with his following, but I'm seeing a little bit of that now. And um, there's nothing better than it in the world. You couldn't write me a check for a billion dollars when I get a message from someone that says they saw my 30 day video or one of the YouTube videos I've done and they're no longer suicidally depressed or they've come overcome type two diabetes. There's, there's really nothing better in the world than that. That's amazing. I, I will be very impressed with myself if I get through the episode without getting emotional. But that, yeah, there's there's some point when you're watching some of the content that you're creating in these interviews and the stories that you're capturing that like you kind of take it for granted a little bit. Like I got into carnivore because, you know, I was already doing low carb. I wanted to see if I wasn't going to die. And sure enough, like five and a half years ago, like my mental health is better and I feel really good and it's convenient. But I'm not you know, I'm not bipolar. I'm not schizophrenic. I don't I don't have type two diabetes. When you see some of these stories, again, that you're capturing, you know, the, the bill in, in, you know, Alaska and like the, the, the oh, and I'm going to forget his name. Is it John that had the, the stage four cancer? Um, Jeff. Jeff, you just you, you take it for granted a little bit what this diet can really, truly do. It's quite. Uh, yeah, it's it's really amazing. Yeah, it's I still don't believe it. Like some of these things I wouldn't believe. But as part of the documentary, we're we're vetting all these people. We're getting their medical records ahead of time. But yeah, some of it is absolutely unbelievable. The common thread is definitely what you alluded to, uh, mental health, depression, anxiety. We're filming some people that are like, you know, I did this because I had type 2 diabetes. But then I also I realized I was kind of depressed before. I was horribly anxious all the time. And that was my new normal. And now it's completely gone eating a proper human diet. Almost every person in our documentary, we filmed 27 individuals so far and counting, Almost every one of them has that common thread that they also had a mental health component that they overcame. They did it for one reason, and then they realized all these other things fixed. That's so cool. Let's go back into your story a little bit. You've been on YouTube for quite a while, so used to kind of creating content. But it sounds like even though you were doing an amazing thing with your family by homesteading and doing a lot of homeschooling and that kind of thing, um, that you were you know suffering. You mentioned the, the mental health and everything. Tell us about your story and how you got to be into such a, a bad place with your health. Yeah, for many, many years, I was suffering horribly. Uh, the, the worst for me was depression and anxiety. That's the reason I'm so passionate in doing this documentary, frankly, is only because of mental health issues. 
But uh, I went through horrible depression for about 15 years before finding carnivore and a proper human diet. And I was on every medication, every SSRI. Uh, just for people that aren't depressed, it's sometimes hard for people to understand like how deep that goes. I was suicidally depressed, hopelessly depressed. Wow. Like the literal definition of hopelessness. Like, I don't know how I'm going to make it through this day. Every single day, it turned into insomnia, horrible anxiety. And, uh, you know, a lot of times people will try to deal with those things themselves. And I did that for many years. And it, it got so bad that my wife finally intervened and took me to get help. And I got medication. But sadly, the medication never helped me. Uh, they're, they're like, we can give you this SSRI for your depression. It's going to take three months before we know if it works or not. And, uh, but you got to stick to it and you got to do it for three months. I'm like, oh my goodness, I need help now, not three months from now, but I had no choice. So I did it for three months and it, it didn't do anything. And then they're like, okay, well, we'll just up the dosage and you'll have to try for another three months. And I did that for another three months. And before you knew it, a year went by on one medication, still hopelessly depressed, uh, just feeling like a shadow of myself. And then I went on to, they're like, well, let's try another medication. So I did that for years and years. Besides the mental health issues though, my physical health just deteriorated worse and worse and worse. Uh, I had IBS for many years. I was diagnosed with IBS. My stomach always hurt, was always gurgling and bubbling and just never felt right. Uh, I had skin cancer on my ear several years ago. I had my uh, gallbladder removed because my stomach was hurting so bad. I went in and they're like, your, your gallbladder is okay. It's kind of borderline. Maybe this will help with your IBS and your stomach issues. So I'm like, take it out. Like I'm desperate, anything. I've had multiple kidney stones. Uh, my appendix burst on the operating room table. Uh, it almost killed me if I wasn't going in for the operation when it happened to burst, like just as they were ready to do the surgery. Uh, I believe all of these things I'm talking about, by the way, too, were from nutrition. Uh, I snored most of my life. I had a CPAP machine. I went in for several sleep studies. The biggest thing for me was about seven years ago, I was at home. And um, I went to stand up and I got very dizzy and the side of my face went numb. My fingers were tingling. I got confused. I couldn't find my words. My wife uh, panicked and called 911. Uh, and I had a TIA mini stroke. I ended up spending five days in the hospital. And they're like, what? This guy is like in his 30s. Why is he, uh, why is he having a mini stroke? Why is he having all these health issues? Uh, of course, they looked at all my records. It was like, all, it's, my records are just huge with all these health issues. So they did all of these tests on me and they determined I had uh, congestive heart failure. Uh, I have a low ejection fraction, which means my heart can't keep up with the needs of my body. My ejection fraction was a 44. So I just had this cascade of health issues, one after the other, after the other. On top of all of that, I was diagnosed with gout. But then the next doctor said, maybe it's not gout, it's just inflammation. Well, whatever it was, it was just this horrible pain in my right foot on my second toe. And it hurt so bad, I was in crutches. It hurt so bad that for about a year and a half, when I would go to like a grocery store or anywhere big, I'd ride around on a mobility scooter because I couldn't put any pressure down. It, it, it literally felt like a fractured bone. And uh, yeah, many, many, many health issues. And so I found carnivore diet through a YouTube video from Dante Ferrigno. Uh, it was so inspiring. The guy had IBS, depression, overweight, lots of things like me. And he was talking about eating meat only. And I'm like, that's absolutely insane. <laughs> that's nuts. On the flip side, I knew about keto because I had some success with keto throughout the years. I found keto years ago. It's the only thing that touched my depression, but it never got rid of my depression. And I could never maintain it. Uh, I would yo-yo, but it helped a little bit. Um, so when Dante was talking about this, I'm like, from a science perspective, this makes sense. He's going to be in deep ketosis. Of course, it's going to help his body. But I'm like, there's no way you can just eat only meat. You're going to clog your arteries. I have congestive heart failure. I can't eat only meat. I'll have a heart attack. So all of these things. And then uh, I started watching Dr. Barry videos. And I kid you not, I probably watched a thousand Dr. Barry videos. And I saw the one on type 2 diabetes where people are like, you saved my life. Dr. Barry, this was my A1C before and after, because in my head, Casey, I'm like, what is he selling? Like, this is, he's going to say, you got to pay a thousand dollars for my diet program, or they're going to be the Dr. Barry supplements. And I got to the end of a thousand videos and I'm like, he's not even selling anything. He's just saying, just go eat meat. And then I saw that video with all those comments and in my head still, I'm like, Dr. Barry's a fraud. He's faking it. And I'm like, wait, so 
2,000 comments. He had all of these faked as well. People saying like their lives was saved. They reversed their A1C. Their diabetes is gone now. Uh, so that's what ultimately convinced me 500 plus days ago to start uh, Carnivore. And uh, yeah, it's it's changed my life in profound ways ever since and pretty quickly too.